Hi, this is Ed Lieberman, and the following lesson is part of my Networking Fundamentals course. Now, before we get into those network connections and things like that, the first thing I want to show you is these hosts and LM host files. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Start, and the way I like to get there is to just go ahead and type the path right here in this Search Programs and Files window. Okay, and I know there there are faster ways to do this, but I want you to learn the entire path. So I'm going to put it in C colon backslash, and it's usually your C drive, but it's going to be whatever your system drive is. So C colon backslash Windows backslash system, oops, I could type, <laughs> system32 drivers etc. And you'll notice, by the way, as I was typing, it automatically populates up here based upon whatever matches the search, you know, whatever matches the beginning of what you're typing in. So this can also help you to, to get there without having to type the whole thing out. But in this folder, which I'm going to jump to right now, you will find your host file and a sample LM host file. Now to open these documents, even though they aren't named as a text document, they are actually text documents. So you just open them up with Notepad. So I'm going to uh, just double click or I could right click on host and say open. It'll ask me for a utility that I want to use. I want to use notepad and click OK. Now you want to be careful because the name of this file is called hosts, not hosts.txt, okay, which would be the typical extension for a text document. Okay, So it's very important because if you were to rename this.txt, then it wouldn't work anymore. So this document is Really, you know what, it, this is pretty much a sample document as well. And the reason I say that is because this little pound symbol that you see at the beginning of each line means that this line is a remark or a comment line, meaning it's not an actual valid line of code, so to speak. But I just want you to see the example that they have here. They show you that the way you would use this file is by just putting an IP address, putting some spaces, and there is no specific set number of spaces they have to be used. Some people will use like five spaces or three spaces. Some people will hit the tab button. They all work. Doesn't matter. Just put an IP address, some spaces, and then a name. And then from that moment forward, this computer, if it was looking for that name, it would know it's that IP address. So I'm going to give you an example here. And I'm going to just create a, a real whacked out example. I'm going to go ahead and type in 192.168.10. I'm going to put .250. I know that that's an IP address not being used on my network. Okay, So this is not a valid computer. I just want to demonstrate how this works and specifically use a computer that does not exist so that you can see what happens and also how dangerous this can be if this file is compromised. I'll put a few spaces in there. And I'm going to put in demo domain.local. What that means is, is that if this computer goes looking for demo.domain.local, it's going to resolve to this IP address. Okay, So all we have to do now is close this and save the changes. And I want you to watch what happens when I go to save the changes. It brings up the save as window. And if I were to say I want to save this, i got to go to all files and save this as hosts, like I'm overwriting it. You want to replace it? Yes. Boom. Access is denied. I'm going to move my arrow. You can't see the word denied. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training, please visit www.trainsignal.com.